Bud Kaiser and I were always seeking ways to take the tremendous messages that come from the Judeo-Christian tradition and apply them to the contemporary world. When Insight First began, the FCC ruling was very favorable to it. People who had very serious concerns they wanted to communicate to the community could do so, whether those concerns were religious, whether they're educational. Bud Kaiser was able, through that ruling, to have Insight put on stations as part of their public access programming and their public access responsibilities. The Insight episodes were syndicated and distributed uh, on about 220 stations in the United States. One was this side of Eden, a humorous metaphor of God, Adam, and Eve in the garden. And it was so well written that it attracted Walter Matthau and Carol Burnett and Ed Asner. Adam, how'd you learn to talk so good? So well. Huh? How'd you learn to talk so well? Yeah. It was the apple that made him talk that way. Yeah, before he ate the apple, he hardly said a word. And then everything was just in one syllable. <laughs> and of course, then he was innocent. Innocent? Me? Ha! You should have seen her. Nothing embarrassed her, God, nothing. She'd walk around naked so anybody could see her, anybody. Well, there was just the two of us. All three of them are extremely talented uh, uh, actors and uh, comedians, and to be able to work with them uh, about uh, a script directed by a fantastic director, Jay Sandridge, was a pleasure indeed. My other favorite episode was an episode that I wrote called Clown of Freedom, uh, which starred Martin Sheen. It was grounded in my experience of traveling through Salvador at the time the guerrilla warfare was going on. The old regime is gone. We are in command now. Are you? I still see the same uniforms, the same force. Well, you know what they say. Uh, you don't uh, make an omelet without breaking some eggs. And what do you propose to bring the people instead? I, I bring order to this broken country. Oh, do you? So far today, I witnessed soldiers beating prisoners for singing a song of freedom. I watched your soldiers execute civilians as well, women included. Earlier, I saw a young mother and her child caught in a crossfire between your troops and government police. She screamed out for them to spare her child. She screamed right up until the moment a tank crushed both of them to death. When I wrote the script, I wrote it as part of a master's thesis I was doing at Loyola Marymount University and I had the help of a director by the name of Byron Haskin, who did War of the Worlds, and he helped me in the dramatic structuring of this Insight script, but he appreciated that I had had the experience of being in Salvador when they were threatening to blow up the Jesuit University, uh, guerrilla warfare was going on, um, tension in Latin America was, was much worse than it is today, and it was the first Insight show that was actually shot outside of a studio. Bud was very proud of it. I was very proud of it. Martin Sheen was very proud of it. And essentially, the storyline was this. This is a clown troupe in a fictional Latin American country, but it's really Salvador, ordered to propagandize for the junta. And Martin Sheen refused uh, under pain of death Ah, my friends, we finally made it to the circus. Oh, easy, friend. Took me a year of foolishness to earn this shirt. If you're going to wrinkle it, kindly do it with a smile. Hello. Papers. Ah, yes, the papers. I'd like to see those myself. The name is uh, Ramon Gomez? Oh, no, sir. Uh, my name is Bobo. Gomez, you were charged oh, with your political gracious, subversion. A mistake. My name is Bobo. If inserting statements in your street theater, political hostile subversion. to the patriotic oh, regime. Lord, a terrible mistake. We are the clowns of freedom. We dance, we laugh, we mind, we sing, and we also tame wild animals. Oh, look out. Get them out of here, Sergeant. Cell 46. See, I told you I'd get us a room. With Martin Sheen and Bud Kaiser and Insight, there's always been a very, very strong connection. Paul's Productions is very indebted to Martin Sheen. Uh, for his humanity, for his Christian commitment, and for his acting talent that he has so generously uh, given to Paul's productions.